guys welcome back to my channel Ms. Mendoza's Easy Kitchen today I'm making something for dinner um, I don't know about you guys but after knowing that we needed to be in quarantine three weeks ago we went into a panic mode and I was one of those people and so I went to the store and I just started buying stuff and so one of the things that I wanted to buy was chicken and so there wasn't a lot of chicken left there was only chicken thighs and so I grabbed two packs of that so I'm getting ready to do some chicken thighs with some barbecue this is my go-to barbecue sauce sweet baby rays this is the sweet and spicy and to marinate the chicken I'm going to need the garlic salt and the seasoning salt by Lori's you know you guys this is my favorite and they didn't have the brand mac and cheese so I got the great value so we're gonna try that I won't let the, my family know you know that is non-brand but I'm sure it's still it's gonna be good I'm gonna make some salad to go with this I have some garlic bread to go with this and I believe I have some potato salad to go with this so are you ready Let's get started. The word of the day is chicken thighs. So in Spanish, you would say muslos de pollo. Okay, you guys, before we get started, I wanted to let you see the um, packet. It's the huge family size. Uh, it only cost me $4.57 and it comes with, I believe it's nine to 10 thighs. And so I'm getting ready to clean them and I do take the skin off, you guys. Okay, after I cleaned my chicken, I did take off the skin. It looks like a lot of chicken, right? But you know, this is um, chicken thighs. They're going to reduce a lot, you guys. So let's start putting on all the seasoning. Yeah, I went into a panic mode, you guys. And I was like, I no chicken, Dios mío, que voy a hacer? But, you know, I saw the chicken thighs. I was like, we got to make it work. Now, you know, with chicken thighs, I would rather, you know, just bake them, fry them, instead of, you know, making like a a caldo or a soup with it because it has so much fat that's one of the reasons I take the skin off you guys I feel that this needs some pepper let me get some pepper you guys I wanted to grab some pork ribs but they were all gone but I mean you gotta do what you gotta do right now Okay, you guys make sure you clean your hands and all the stuff really really good because you're dealing with chicken you're dealing with meat you don't want to cross contaminate so let's see how these look are looking are they ready to be turned here they are see you guys i'm not even using any oil you see how nice they are turning? Okay, you guys, let's cover them up. And leave them like that for about, I want to say like 10 minutes. I put it on very low. Are covering it with barbecue sauce. Okay, so let's hope your thighs. We love barbecue sauce, you guys. My family loves it. They're always asking for it. And you see how much sauce we have here at the bottom? Make sure when you serve it, you get some of that. Too 
bet you guys can't smell it. It smells so good. Okay, let's cover this up. On a very low, low heat. So while that finished cooking, um, I'm gonna heat up some bread. Okay, let's check on our barbecue. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Delicious, you guys. Pretty much this is done. So there you have it, you guys. We're getting ready to eat. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.